Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. I hope you're well. And if it's the first time you've been here, please subscribe. And it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about something which has been the resulting kind of feeling um, after a bit of a silly kind of thing which I've done recently, uh, which was all about leaving something which I kind of knew in the back of my head I should have I should have looked into and I should have followed up on and thankfully it will all be okay. Um, but it really does just teach us in life as it's taught me that actually sometimes the longer you leave something, the more it can turn into or cascade into something a little bit more difficult to deal with or unfortunately uh, can result in further complications or issues or uh, a whole host of nasty things to come. Um, or not even that, or it could even be something which you may miss, or you may miss an opportunity, or one thing or another. So it all started uh, about about six weeks ago now. I w just had a bit of a cough, had a bit of a bad chest, and I don't want anybody to think, oh my god, is everything okay? Because I've got some amazing subscribers out there and all my viewers, and I'm, I'm fine. It's just having a bit of a bumpy journey, a bit of a tough ride, you could say, uh, with unfortunately a little bit of it being my own fault, not uh, sort of following it up a little bit more quicker. So my message today is never put off the things which you can do today. Um, and yeah, eat my own words type thing. Um, and I'm I, usually I'm a true advocate for this and for everybody else. If there's something going on with anybody else or whether it be a family member or a friend or anything, then I'm the first on it. If I can help somebody, I'll do it there and then. Or if they need my help, they'll do it there. I'll do it there and then. But if it's for me, um, particularly because I've had such a history of different uh, appointments and sort of quite stressful situations and things. Now, um, now I'm, I'm the opposite end of all of that. Uh, I really do kind of think to myself, ah, it will be fine. It will be absolutely fine. Um, and and then I just keep going. I'm, I'm a truly a very, very positive person. I try to find the, the positive side in everything. I always try to find the goodness in everything and everyone. Um, but it was about six weeks ago where I had a bit of a strange sort of um, sort of chest, bit of a sort of out of breathness, um, and it was a, a just a cold. Didn't think no more of it. Just a bit of a cold. A um, couple of weeks passed, and it was coming up to my holiday to Cyprus, which I went on. Had an absolutely fantastic time. Um, it was really really lovely. Got to see some fantastic sights. Um, my mum and dad know Cyprus very very well. Cyprus is very very dear to my family. I went last year. Again this year, absolutely fantastic. I would wholeheartedly recommend it. But throughout the whole of that time, um, I wasn't particularly very well. But however, it didn't stop me from enjoying myself and I had a really great time. But there was something always in the background where I just didn't feel quite right. And halfway through the week, um, it got quite a lot worse. And then I had a bit of a stomach complaint come on as well. I was very out of breath. Um, the cough I'd had had seemed to got a lot worse. And then I did start to think to myself, you know, my mum and my dad, were saying to me, you need to go to the doctors, you need to see, uh, you need to see about that, it's been a little while now, and I was just simply saying, no, do you know what, it's just one of those things, it's probably a bit of a virus or something sort of viral just going on for a long time, it will be absolutely fine when I'm over in the sun, the heat will get rid of it, not a problem. Um, <clears throat> Unfortunately, it's still a bit, I'm, I'm still sort of battling this at the moment in the background too, and it's pretty damn right rotten, and to cut a long story short, um, I was really quite unwell by the end of the holiday, but still able to enjoy things, um, got home and really felt just completely flawed by it, and unfortunately still do. I'm feeling not too bad this afternoon, I'm still feeling it quite a lot on my chest at the moment. Um, and yeah, the, the doctor uh, said to me that he suspected that I had a lower respiratory infection on my lungs. Um, and boy, has that really hit me for six. It really, really has. And I thought, I'm young, I'm absolutely fine, there's, there's nothing here at all. Um, there's no no kind of problem. But I thought, you know what, I'd better just go and speak to the doctor about it. Then he thought it was a good idea um, to have an x-ray done on my chest and some have some blood work done just because the thing, other symptoms I was kind of saying in the background which I was experiencing. My stomach upset, I've never experienced such a horrific, horrible series of stomach problems, let's put it that way, um, and it was very unlike me. So I knew I had to go and speak to somebody because things were just not improving, all sort of my, my dear Nan, who I absolutely love, I, I, I don't have her anymore, I lost her in 2021. Um, all of her old remedies for some stomach related problems, indigestion problems, all of those things didn't seem to quite work when usually Nan's remedies usually work fine and usually heal, sometimes better than some of the uh, medications and sort of 
those type of routes. Um, but yeah, so mum and dad are growing more kind of concerned, worried, and and yeah, I was to be quite honest with you. And then I went, been to the doctor, and you know what? Since then, it's been we're talking, we're a week on now, and I'm still feeling this in my chest. I've got some steroids and I've got some um, antibiotic uh, sort of medication and things as well, and a spray, and yeah, I'm still feeling it. And do you know what? I absolutely do believe that if I would have got onto this sooner, it wouldn't have developed into so much. And my voice is fine. Every now and again, it gets quite croaky, especially first thing in the morning. But my chest, I just feel so out of breath, almost like that there's an absolute elephant on my chest. And if I lean forward, it puts me into sort of like a coughing spasm. Um, But the cough is severe at night. And then throughout the day, it's just slowly on and off. Um, But yeah, so today's notion is all about, and it's really got me thinking about this, Never put off what you can do today. And that broadens out, doesn't it, into so many different things. For example, if it's an opportunity in life, whether it be career, whether it be financial, whether it be relationship, whether it be family, whether it be meeting up with a friend, whether it be reconnecting, whether it be making a life decision, whether it means whether you've been putting off something quite nasty, let's say sorting something out, perhaps sorting a situation out in a family. Of course, we're never ever going to be able to resolve anything some things rather, in just one day. But we can start to get on it. Do you know what I mean? We can start to get on it. We can start to take ownership of the problem or issue and we can start to get the ball rolling. And I think that's just the key, isn't it? That nothing in this world is impossible. Everything is possible. Sometimes we might not know the way and sometimes it might scare us and sometimes it might fill us with absolute fear. But you know what? That's okay. It's okay as long as we make that first step. And nine times out of ten, when you make that first step, the lot becomes a whole lot easier. So those steps to follow become bit by bit a little bit easier. So first of all, I really, after all my operations, which I've had, my groin reconstruction, my bladder operation, one thing or another, and sort of having to manage overactive bladder in the background and hearing problems, the last thing I wanted to do was go to the doctor about a chest problem, which I thought was just a light cough. And actually, it turns out that it wasn't just a cough at all, and it wasn't just a cold. It's turned into something quite nasty. And for me, it's been absolutely awful. I mean, when I say a productive cough, never in my life have I had or seen things with the cough I've had lately. Um, and forgive me for that sounding very, very crude. And stomach-related issues, I'm just generally feeling very, very flawed. I actually thought that I picked up something nasty through being in Cyprus, but it turns out that actually it wasn't. It was just all linked, and actually it started to get a little bit better, and then something knocked me completely back. Um, and even as I talk, it feels like that my chest is almost like I'm wearing a belt, and it's tight all around my chest. Um, it's really weird, and as I say, it's just completely zapped me of any energy, and I'm a very sort of get-up-and-go person, proactive, never am I a person to sit down, and certainly not to lie down. Um, but this week, I've really had to kind of take things slow. I felt really quite lightheaded at times of it, quite un- generally flawed, and very, very unwell. Um, and yeah, this afternoon, I'm, I'm okay, I'm not feeling great, but I'm okay, I certainly don't feel like me at the moment. But it really did just hit home. I thought to myself, do you know what? I need to talk about this on my channel because we should do this. Do you know what? We should act on the things we can today or at least make a start on the things. So, for example, if you've got a really tricky situation or thinking, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. You know yourself, and I've done it, that tomorrow will be the next day and it will be the next day. And then before you know it, it'll be the following weekend. It will be the following month, the following month. Then the seasons change. And you look back on when you've had New Year and you think, cool, I still didn't get that done. I've done it. There's one or two things in my life which I have done that to. But you know what? It's important that actually we actually do look at life. And I'm a huge advocate for life is so, so precious. And it is not an onus to us. It is a gift. Never, ever should we ever wake up in the morning and think, you know what? (sighs) Got to do this. Got to do that. No, we should all wake up in the morning. We should count our blessings every single day. And we should think, you know, this is a gift. There are so many people in our situation who would absolutely cherish and treasure that opportunity to wake up and get to seize the day. But how many of us, I wonder, actually think that way? How many of us keep putting off the small things or the difficult things or even tackling those huge things in our lives? As soon as we take a step on that journey, on that ladder, however you want to think about it, it gets a little bit easier. It really, really does. So throughout this nasty sort of area or sort of blip in my sort of life at the moment, um, do you know, I have to admit, I will always remember this, is like the worst chest I've ever had. Um, <clears throat> but, however, it teaches me that actually not to put these things off and to tackle them today. And do you know, if I would have acted a bit sooner, um, 
yeah, it would have been, I probably would have been a lot more comfortable right now, and I probably would have enjoyed my holiday in Cyprus an awful lot more as well. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to talk about that on my channel, and if anybody has any sort of insights or questions or feelings or thoughts on that, please voice them, please leave them down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, the channel is growing, so it is getting a little bit more difficult to answer every single question, but I do answer every single question, but sometimes it might just take me a little bit longer, but I will always do that as quickly as I can. Um, at the moment, there will be a delay on when the clips will come up on the channel, just because of what I'm going through with different things at the moment as well. Um, but yeah, absolutely, please do think about that. My channel, I love to raise sort of different topics and, and sort of thoughts and feelings, and I use my channel as almost like a virtual diary and I love to talk about motivating and motivation and, and really helping people because no matter how often, do you know, we often see these figures in our lives, don't we? That actually you think that life is just so perfect and wow, I wonder what it must be like to be in that situation. Well, do you know what? It's not for, do you know what? for none of us. I would imagine probably one in a million, somebody would turn around and say that they're perfect every single day. We all go through things. We're all going through something. Um, and do you know what? never put those little things off. If you can do something today just to make life a little bit more easier, then somewhat, sometimes just bite your bottom lip or take a deep breath and just get on with it because life is so, so precious. And the thing is, number one, never ever take anything for granted. Number two, do you know what? As soon as you start this, you're going to have headspace for so many other incredible things, so many amazing things to come, rather than it just always being in the back of your mind, you need to do this, you need to do this, and you know you do, but you never quite get around to it. So never put off the things which you can do today, my friend. And honestly, it will be worth it. It would have been worth it for me, absolutely, with my chest and having not to go through this so much. But Pathos was really, really great, and I'll be looking forward to bringing you a little bit more lightheartedness, a little bit more, um, let's say, this is positive, but a lot more healthier, I think, clips going forward in terms of me being able to sit here feeling confident, feeling well, and uh, showcasing all of what I want to show on my channel. Okay, so on that note, my friends, my subscribers, and everybody who views my channel, God bless you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. And remember, never put off the things which we can start to do today, because little by little, it gets a little bit easier. Okay, bye for now. Thanks very much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.